Hey everybody, Essence here, and I am posing this question, what if trauma really isn't that serious? Okay, so before you turn your nose up and start judging me, I want you to hear me out, okay? So I am Essence Turner from Beautiful Happy Goddess. I am a spiritual life coach, and I help women uh, break through heavy, stuck emotions, embrace self-love, and embody their most abundant self. So I work a lot with sh uh, shame, trauma, uh, self-hate, abandonment issues, um, sexual abuse. And one of my clients last week, she told me that one of the things she really likes about working with me is how I don't take things that seriously and that's one of the reasons why she hired me and I said yeah trauma just really isn't that serious to me and we started laughing and she said every time that I went to therapy over the years they made what I went through like oh this big heavy thing and that it like it made me feel like it's going to take forever to like work through my issues and basically it was all very daunting and I and I said yeah and I bring the approach I said I don't really talk about it but I bring the approach of like this isn't that big of a big of a deal because I know how to get you through your trauma so if I know how to help you work through it then why is it a big deal and uh, it brings to mind earlier this year, I backed into my neighbor's car. Uh, I didn't want to bring the insurance into it because it wasn't that big of a deal. So I'm like, I'll just pay for it. Then later that day, my car just quit and I didn't have it towed to the mechanic. So now I have to pay for my neighbor's car, pay to get my car towed and pay for whatever like went wrong with my car. But then I was like, it's not a big deal because I have the money to take care of it, right? So this is what I mean. I'm gonna give you more examples because I really want you to understand that I'm not diminishing my experience, my traumas or anyone else's when I say that. Because when I was being sexually assaulted, yeah, that was a big freaking deal. But then 20 years later, when it actually bubbled up to the surface to be healed last summer, it wasn't a big deal. Not that what happened to me wasn't a big deal, but now that this trauma is bubbling up to the surface, I know how to get through trauma. So it's not a big deal. I know who to reach out to, to help me in any areas that I may not be able to break through on my own. And that's exactly what I did. So then it wasn't a big deal, okay? So here's what we do with things that, well, let me pose this to you. What do you do with things that are serious, important, a big deal, right? What do you tend to do with those things? You keep them, you hold on to them, right? You wanna hold them and covet them. What do you do with things that aren't a big deal, that aren't that serious? You're like, here, take this. It's not that big of a deal. I, I, you can give it away. You, you know, let it go, right? So it's just a difference in the mindset around it. What you covet and deem as like precious and you can't break it, you want to hold on to it. And that's what some people want to do with their trauma, which is okay at some point during the whole, let's say when a trauma first happens, there's definitely times to hold it, covet it, protect it. And then there comes a time where it's like, here, I'm giving, I'm ready to give this shit away. It's been causing me to be anxious, depressed, sad. I don't want to go through life carrying this anymore, okay? So the way that I see it is like you have the trauma over here. So let's even just use my example where I felt like I was fighting for my life, you know, trying to get this guy off me. Yes, that is serious. That event then created this dirty, muddy trauma energy baby, right? that for me, I just tucked it back here, all right? Like I didn't even wanna look at it, deal with it, 
and it's just been like baggage, just hanging, going through life, probably, you know, like, sometimes not making, you know, I don't feel safe with men sometimes, you know, and it, you know, that baby just cried in different ways over the years, right? So you have the trauma and then you have what is created from the trauma, that trauma energy baby that is full of sadness, anger, depression, shame. That is what I'm saying isn't that big of a deal because if I know how to help you heal that baby and clean her up, love her and integrate her back into your heart so that you feel more whole and complete. And why, why should I look at it as a big deal? It's not, I know how to help you through it. And it's not going to take years to get through it, okay? Here, I wanna give you still a couple more examples. I had a client one time, she had come, something had happened in her life but her therapist told her, don't work on that. It's too new. It's too fresh. And so I said, okay, you know, well, what else, you know, do you want to work on? So we chose something else from her history, her past, but she was showing up every week, just very disconnected. And because her mind was very focused on what just happened to her. And I'm like, I know that your therapist told you not to work on it. I don't want to step on any toes, but like, what do you feel like? What, what feels real and true to you? And she was like, that I should work on this. And she is someone who was of sound mind. She was mentally well. She was um, also a healthcare provider. So I, I knew that she was mentally fit. And that's why I was asking her these questions. We started working on that trauma. And within three weeks, she was like a brand new freaking person, just laughing, giggling, because that trauma baby was holding, was, had so much heaviness and sadness to it that it was really bringing her down. And then again, looking at that trauma baby, like, oh, we just need to carry it and we can't break it. And we gotta be so careful with it will have you carrying that stuff around for years, okay? I bring lightness and ease and sometimes fun. We do laugh a lot in my sessions and certainty to my work. So it, it's just, it's not a problem. It's never a problem getting through those things. And so here's one more example. I think this will be my last one. Okay, so... 2016, I was going through something and I was doing a healing session for me. I had a cushion, a bracket. I was really about to let some anger out. And my roommate at the time, I invited her. And so she came downstairs, we're downstairs and I'm cheering with her. And I'm like, you know, this will, she was going through something too. And I'm like, this will really help you. Let's just start to get our anger out. Then I'll like help you some more. And she was like, I'm not ready. She was like, I'm, my pain is like my friend. Like I, I carry it around in a purse with me and I'm not ready to give that purse away because I don't know who I will be without it. I'm just not ready to let the pain go. And so what I do, I respected that because some people just aren't ready right? They, for whatever reason that feels real and true to them, they still need to hold on to it. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not saying that there is anything wrong with that. But what I'm saying is there comes a time in most people's life where you realize this, I don't want to carry this anymore. And actually that friend is now at that place. I will say maybe in the last year and she's been working through things and opening up that purse and digging stuff out, right? So at some point in time, there will come a time where you are like, I am ready to like set this baby free, okay? And so, and when you get to that point, just know it's not that serious. It doesn't have to take years to get through your divorce, your breakup, your uh molestation at a client who was molested by three of her stepbrothers and I have permission to share and there's even an interview on my website if you want to watch it four months she carried this stuff with her for like 40 something years 
And then we got through it in four months. We also worked on her divorce and then we worked on the sexual trauma. Four months, she was a brand new freaking person, came in hating herself, couldn't look in the mirror, low self-worth. And now I just talked to her actually a couple of days ago and she's like, I'm living my best life ever. She's like, I miss you, but I don't have any problems. How freaking amazing is that? And she was sharing with me how also she loved that I brought that lightness and I didn't make it all be a big deal. And she got through it and she is still doing amazing. Sorry for my Facebook uh, alert just went off. Okay, so those are the women that I work with that are ready to let this stuff go. If you are still in that one and hold on to the pain and, and covet it, there is nothing wrong with that. And I'm not saying that there is, okay? So I am just wanting, I just really want to share my perspective and to also give you um, women out there hope, the one, the, those of you who have been to therapy and let's say it didn't work or you've tried different things and then you've decided, well, since that didn't work, then it's just hopeless. And I'm here to tell you that it is not hopeless, right? There are ways to heal that trauma baby and to integrate her and to have this sense of wholeness and self-love and feel very abundant about yourself and your life. Okay. And so if that is you, you are ready to set yourself free. I can help you. No problem please reach out to me. You can DM me or visit essenceturner.com. You can read my testimonials on there. And um, also you can visit the contact page if you have any questions. I also have a three-day online retreat that will help you get clear on what are some of the things that have been hold, um, holding you back, weighing you down. And I offer a one-on-one -on -one session where I help you to go through all of the data that you've collected through the exercises and give you tools and plan to work through your trauma if you are someone who wants to do the work on your own. All right, so I hope that this video served you and I will talk to you later.